Hello to you, uh, Francois. This is a very delicate visit by the U.S. president. Tell us more. A very delicate visit, uh, Will, but at the same time, they really have laid the groundwork, A, by uh, setting low expectations. Uh, what we are going to be hearing is not a promise uh, that Saudi Arabia will suddenly start uh, pumping out much more oil. That's not expected uh, during this summit. Uh, but at the same time, it's more about how you prepare that pivot. There was last week's editorial that the president printed in the Washington Post where he uh, justified the reasons for this visit, and that is, of course, national interest. Uh, two, uh, facts have changed. Facts have changed here in the Middle East, where we've seen a closening of ties uh, between Arab states and Israel. Joe Biden uh, making a somewhat historic first ever trip by U.S. president from Israel to Jeddah. Donald Trump had gone in the other direction. But also he's having to put aside uh, this talk of uh, Mohammed bin Salman as a pariah. Uh, what with the uh, uh, price of oil so high and with the war in Ukraine also helping to change those facts, not to mention uh, the common foe that the likes of Israel and the Gulf states have, and that is Iran. Uh, Joe Biden, who first will be meeting with the king of Saudi Arabia uh, before he sits down for what the White House describes as a working, uh, uh, as a working session uh, with the uh, crown prince and members of the Saudi cabinet. All right, Francois, thank you very much. Francois Picard, report.